Greetings guys, girls, non-binary pals and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are well and I hope that you are fighting because there is a lot to be fighting for. Now today I'm pretty much just wearing my pajamas. I look like I've just rolled out of bed, which I haven't. Uh, <laughs> and it's the longest I've ever gone without uploading and that is because since the last time I've seen you, a lot has happened. Uh, I was finally able to book flights back home to New Zealand, so that's a big deal. That was fun. That was stressful. Very expensive. I now have a 27 hour journey that I'm going to be going on in three weeks. Uh, there's a, one of the planes is 18 and a half hours. It's one plane for 18 and a half hours. And I'm really not looking forward to that. <laughs> a six and a half hour plane, a three hour stopover, an 18 and a half hour plane. Really, really exciting. Really exciting stuff. Uh, yeah, but as well as that, I am moving. I'm actually moving tomorrow. We have to get all of our stuff out of our flat and into storage to go stay with my auntie for a few weeks before we go back to New Zealand for like two months. We haven't booked a ticket back. Uh, just one way to figure it out. So a lot going on. Very stressful. But I wanted to come and make a video. Partially because I wanted to make a video and partially because I need to now make back the money I spent on the flights to New Zealand. So here we are. <laughs> Every month for the past pretty much since I created this channel almost two years ago, we have done a check in on the streets. It used to be my first video of the month and now it's just changed to being whenever. And this month it's going to be the last video of the month. And that is what we are doing today. We are having a little check in on the streets. So let's have a look at how they're going. We've got some TikToks, some Instagram posts, some Reddit posts, and I'm gonna make a guess straight up before we even get started that no, they are still not okay. And I, I don't know if they ever will be, but we're gonna have a check. And in the theme of that, today's video is sponsored by Cheeks. And I will tell you a little bit more about them a little bit later on. Let's, let's go, let's get into it. Let's have a look at what some straight people are saying and doing, shall we? Babe, take some pictures of me, him covering boobs and butt. Your girlfriend is allowed to exist in her body and wearing clothes and just being a person. That's the thing that people are allowed to do. I don't know if you're aware of that, but people are people and we have bodies and we exist in them. And that is not for you to control what people do and do not see. That is my decision, not yours. Don't be controlling, don't be like that. It's really weird, it's really weird. She can wear what she wants and it's weird. It's just weird. I don't understand why people do this. I know people whose like partners have been like angry at them for like posting photos in their bikinis and stuff. And it's like, why? It's just their body. They're just literally just existing. You don't, you don't own their body. A normal conversation. Few men would have turned to stone if Medusa had bigger boobs. You know, uh, what would have really made less men turn into stone? If men just left her the fuck alone. You know, that was the whole purpose of the curse in the first place was Medusa was assaulted. So she was like given a curse or a blessing, depending on how you view it, where if men looked at her, they would turn to stone. It was a defense mechanism so that she couldn't be abused again. And men took it as a challenge to like overcome that. You'd think, you'd think if a bunch of men started turning to stone because they were going near a, it just don't just leave her alone and then everyone is everyone wins it's such a like a man a toxic male like trait you know it's the like i have to be in power i have to win women can't threaten me i will kill them no this is the gross this is so gross this is so gross medusa mm, just leave women alone that's the moral of the story Instead of just looking at boobs, instead of eyes, just don't look at women. Just stay away. Sorted. Problem solved. Boyfriend, you are my drug. Girlfriend, aw, oh, you can't live without me? Boyfriend, no, you cost too much and you ruin my life. <laughs> then don't date her. It's really not that difficult. If you're, if you think that your girlfriend is ruining your life and costing you too much, either financially, emotionally, physically, in whatever way, break up with her. Just don't be in a relationship. No one is forcing you to be there. And if your partner is making you feel that way, like if you're the other person in that, if your partner is making you feel as though you are too much and that you are annoying and that you are holding them back or anything like that, leave them. I know that it's difficult. 
Uh, I know sometimes it doesn't feel like you can, but I promise you, if that is how you are feeling in a relationship, you really need to figure out how to leave. And I hope that you are able to find support people and have people in your life that will help you to do that because you deserve so much better than that. Do not make anyone make you feel like that. If you are in a relationship and both of you are unhappy, end the relationship, please. It's better for everyone. I promise that it is better to be alone than to be unhappy in a relationship. I promise you. A man is born from in between a woman's legs. He then grows up and tries going in between her legs again. Why? Because there's no place like home. I really didn't like that. That one was icky. I really don't like that. <laughs> uh -huh. That's... I just don't like when we bring, like, talking about, like, infants into, like, sexual conversation. It's really weird. I know that you didn't, like, directly say, like, baby, but it's, like, implied, and I don't like it. It makes me feel really icky. It also, though, on the flip side, that's amusing to me, implies that all women also love women and all non-binary people love women. It just implies that everyone loves women and wants to have sex with women um, because we all came from between women spies. Unless you're a C-section baby. Does this mean that all, like, gay men and heterosexual women are C-section babies and that's why... That's why... <laughs> That's why they like men. The only reason you like men is if you were not born out of a vagina. Is that what- is that the implication here? That's what it feels like. <laughs> uh, speaking of sex though, since we're here, since we're having this conversation, I would like to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Cheeks. Cheeks is an online sexual wellness membership that grants you unlimited access to a whole range of erotic films and stories, as well as sexual health workshops and classes and education stuff. I really love Cheeks because it has all of these things available to you and it is an ethical place to get all of this stuff. As I'm sure you are all aware and can gather is that I am a big advocate for sex work being real work, but make wanting it obviously to be safe and there is a lot of places on the internet where you can get like adult videos and adult content that is exploitative abusive um, non-consensual etc and a lot of the time when it's free it's been stolen from someone and the people involved are not paid for their work which is awful not okay but fucked up you know we don't want to be supporting that and Cheeks is a place that supports their creators and there is creative freedom for you to do what you want as long as it's like consensual and everyone is having like a good time and wants to be there and they're treated fairly and equally and by paying a monthly subscription those people are getting paid for their work and they choose to continue to do it. But not only is there a whole library of like erotic films for you to filter through to find what you like from like anything like queer to kinky to vanilla to whatever you want it's all there all available to you but they also have an audio library which allows you to listen to erotic stories which is some people's cup of tea more so than videos and then there's also sexual wellness live courses that happen every couple of weeks as well as resources to read and learn about sexual wellness and tips and tricks and things like that to answer questions that you might have that you might be too afraid to ask or can't find the answers to which is really cool really important it's really nice to have a place where you know you can feel like safe uh, and you can have your questions answered because sometimes you can feel a bit like weird asking questions you don't really know where to look for them and having them all there is super great and super helpful all of this combined helps you to get to know yourself a little bit better and know what you like what you want and can help you to communicate that with a partner or just have better alone time as well as helping ease nerves going into situations with partners that may be new or foreign to you. So overall, I think it's a really, really cool resource and I highly recommend checking it out. If you use my code, the Queer Kiwi, you get your first two weeks completely free before it goes into a subscription, which is £14.90 per month or £9.90 if you want to make it an annual subscription. However, you can cancel at any time during that 14 days and you will not get charged. Thank you so much Cheeks for sponsoring today's video. I highly recommend you check it out with the link in the description and code the Queer Kiwi. And let's get back into the video. Interested, but 
As Geralt, am I allowed to have a choice to kill or betray the woman that narrates the trailer of this game? The princess or whatever she is? I do not believe in women being in charge. Feminism. So I like... So I would like to put her in her place. That is the key determining factor of me buying this game. Or am I going to have to play as a beta male simply... Simplying... Sim Am I dumb? Is that a word? Am I stupid? Or am I going to have to play as a beta male simplying helping a woman taking charge of a kingdom? I heard this game has a lot of choices, so I'm wondering whether it, this is a choice in the game to take the kingdom for yourself or whatnot. Jesus, man. What, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I don't like women being in charge. Can I kill her and take over? I don't want to be a beta male. Fuck off, why don't you? My good god. Get over it. Women are people. Women can be in charge. You can shut up and deal with it. I really hope the game said no. I really hope they replied to you and said, no, fuck off, get a different game. That would be really great. Uh, it's interesting though, because there's a lot of sexism that happens within the gaming community, right? Like we, we all know this, we all see it, the way that like female Twitch streamers are treated comparatively and the way that female gamers like don't feel safe in games a lot of the time. Th this is why, because are there a lot of men, male gamers, and just men in general, who are just absolutely god-awful? Fucking go away. Fuck off, man. Games aren't just for you. They're for everyone. And women are people. And you can- you can go away. Do women ever sit back and think, my man sure does know a lot. Maybe I should just be quiet and listen to him. No. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it depends on the topic, right? The same as it is for everything. If I'm dating someone who's like an expert in something that I know nothing about, if we're talking about something to do with that topic, I am going to sit back and listen and be like, yeah, no, you know more about this than I do. But I would also expect the same in return. If there's something that I'm an expert in and he's not an expert in it, I would expect him to sit back and let me take the lead because I know what I'm talking about and he doesn't. Everything is circumstantial. Sometimes there are things you don't know about and you have to accept that. You can ask questions and clarify things and put give input, obviously. That works for all genders. You know, that's not, that's not exclusive one way or the other. Sometimes there will be a man who knows more than I do about a topic and sometimes I will know more than men do about a topic and I would expect them to stop and listen to me the way that I would them if I knew nothing about the topic, you know? It's really not that hard to figure out. It's really not it's not it's not that difficult just use your brain you know i want to extract the eggs from your ovaries and take the milk from your honkers and mix them together to make an omelet how did this thought get into your brain and then to your, like communicate to your thumbs onto your phone and then you actually said that to a person how, how do you, how does that process occur? How does that happen? This is one of the weirdest comments I've ever read. That's so strange. Are you okay? No. That's the whole point of this video is are the straights okay? This one, this one comment answered that question and it is absolutely the fuck not. We got a long way to go guys. Got a long way to go. What did I just read? <laughs> if you think an 18 year old is too young to make the consensual choice to date someone older, then you should also have a problem with them being able to join the military. If somebody is old enough to operate military equipment and be shipped overseas and die in a war, then I'm pretty sure they can make the choice to fuck a 30 year old. So please stop infantilizing young adults. Note, age of consent in most countries is 16 to 17. Americans seem to understand that equating adolescence with childhood is really something only Americans do. In most other places, a teenager is not treated like a little kid with no autonomy. So whether you like it or not, people who are in the 16 to 18 age range can date who they want. There's a few things. Firstly, uh, I don't think 18 year olds should be going to war and dying. You're right. I don't think they should be doing that. I don't really think anyone should be doing that. Um, but you're right. No, I don't think they should. And secondly, right? Okay. I'm not saying an 18 year old can't make the decision to have sex with a 30 year old. The problem is that there is a power imbalance, right? A 30 year old is much more likely to be able to manipulate an 18 year old, especially if this 30 year old has known them for a long time. Like if they haven't just met them, but have known them since before they were 18, there's a big power play in there. That's them having known them as a child and being someone that they like look up to and trust, you know? Like it's never on the like younger person's 
like fault. It's not their fault for like getting into relationships with older people. It is entirely on the older people. It is their responsibility. And you can, you know it's fucked up and there's like a power imbalance when you look at how these relationships function. I'm rewatching Glee at the moment, right? I'm just past the part where Shelby and Puck were dating. And you can see it just even in this like television type relationship, you know? Where like you can clearly see it's like an adult and a teenager and there is such a big difference in how they handle problems and situations. And like with Puck saying shit thinking that, you know, he's in charge and he's like a man. And then her reaction and him thinking he's like, he's said something good, but you're just like, oh my God, no, he's just such a fucking child. That did not make the point that he thought it did. Because they have experience on that. They've gone through all of that. They know what it's like to be a teenager and be in that situation. So therefore they can take advantage of that. You know what I mean? So it's this thing, and I've talked about this before, of like, I am 22, right? But I would never date an 18 year old. I absolutely would not date an 18 year old. They're like, in high school or their first year out of school. I have been out of school for over five years. I've graduated uni. I moved across the world without my family and like work for myself and have my own flat and things. I'm not dating an 18 year old who's like still in high school and living with their family, you know? Because that's such a huge difference in life experience. We don't have that much in common. We are in very different places in our lives. Why would I, connect with that? Why would I want to be in a relationship with someone in such a different place in their life? You know what I mean? Like if you're 30 and you feel like you're in the same place in your life as an 18 year old, I just don't think that, you, I don't think that's true. And the 18 year old might want to be in the life position of a 30 year old and believe that they have their life as together as that. The, the truth is they don't. And you are very aware of that, you know? It's all about life experience. Next up we have a TikTok. odd that was just just why why stop sexualizing santa he is a he is a he is he is for children he is for children to like encourage them to to be good can we stop sexualizing santa leave him alone Le leave 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 the kids to have santa please please leave him alone he doesn't he doesn't deserve this he's a bit of a creep i will i will absolutely give it to you he's a bit of a fucking creep but just let kids have him all right just let him have him <laughs> Um, anyway, this is where I'm gonna end my video. It's been a bit of a mess. I'm sorry. I'm so scatterbrained at the moment. Life, as I've said, is a lot. There's a lot going on. I've got a lot to do. Moving tomorrow. Have not finished packing. Ah! My videos for the next several months are going to be in different locations. Um, I mean, I have, like, different equipment and stuff as well, so it's gonna take a while to get used to for myself and, like, setting up and getting a new schedule down and everything. It's a journey. Let's do it together. Follow me on my second channel. I'll probably be doing some like uh, updates on my trip and seeing my family. I will introduce you to my pets at home, including my dog, Biscuit, my cat, Chuck Chip. I'm gonna be there for her 13th birthday. Uh, it's actually my dog's birthday today. So happy fourth birthday, Biscuit. I love you. I will see you so soon. Ah! A massive thank you to my Kiwi Fruit and Kiwi Bad channel members whose names are up on the screen right now. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. I should actually have a Patreon up now if you would like to join. I've got a whole bunch of different uh, tiers and different perks, including getting my videos a day early, getting extra videos. Um, I'll be doing a few extra like travel logs and stuff on there. Whole bunch of different stuff. If you wanted to check that out, uh, then you can go to patreon.com slash savvy cat um it'll be for the podcast as well once we get that back up and running there will be like bonus podcast episodes and stuff there as well so check that out um thank you so much for coming along i hope that you enjoy the rest of your day stay safe keep fighting i love you Mwah.